thirty five thousand a hundred and thirty five hours of black desert online and this is my review hello youtube as you guys know video is a game that i put a lot of time into it's one of the most played mmos for myself i'm not sure if i'll put it up there with the most played but it definitely has um it's definitely given all the other mmos a run for their money i played a lot of final fantasy 11 and i played a lot of final fantasy 14 unhealthy amounts um by combining all their hours together you probably think i'm like 69 years old and maybe you're right maybe you're wrong but here is my quick little review in quotations quick of bdo is bdo worth it is bdo the game for you is black desert the best mmo well we'll figure it out let's start off with some of the good things of black desert and then some of the bad things about black desert online if you are a person that has played this game for a very long time, like I have, or like eight years, um, you'll realize that one of the best things that Black Desert Online has going for it is that it has consistently given you updates that improve the game. If you take back the first couple of months and years that the game released, the monetization hell that it was gone through was disgusting. And there's a reason why the reviews on Steam and everywhere else speak volumes about this game. In fact, I think one of the worst things that the game has going for it is the fact that the game was in a really bad spot at the beginning and it left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. When you talk about BDO in another streamer's chat or another MMO, they will tell you how bad BDO is because everyone thinks that BDO is bad except the people that are chronically chronically logged into Black Desert Online. Those are the only ones that are like, oh my, even they sit there and complain about the game every day. But here is what you really need to know about the game. I consider Black Desert Online one of the better MMOs that I have ever played, ranking up there as probably my number one or number two. It speaks volumes for me when the developers actually listen. In Black Desert Online, when it started off, it was really a monetization hell. And then we traveled years later when they swapped publishers and trying to improve the game's quality, content, and everything. Uh, the game has that at least in its corner, that the developers do listen the developers do change, maybe a little bit slower than some people would like. But again, if you're chronically logged into the game, one week for you or one month wait time of content for the people that are logged in feels like a year. But if you just take a breath, de um, you know, detach from the game for a bit, you'll realize that there is no other game company that does updates as fast as this game does. You could sit there and you could complain about your favorite MMOs, even Black Desert, but the, they release steady content or updates every week, dude. Every week, every Wednesday or Tuesday or whenever they decide to move their content patches, they give you content or updates at least, addressing balancing, addressing this, hot fixing that, giving you a new class, giving you this, giving you that. Um, so I think uh, at least for that, and I don't want to spend too much more time on this one, Black Desert Online right now for my review for an MMO, it is a solid 8.5, 8.5 to a nine, uh, probably a little bit closer to a nine. That is a, a big rating for a dying genre. MMOs are dying. MMOs are dumb. And I know you hear this from many content creators right now. MMOs are dying, MMOs, it's because it's true. It just isn't as good as it used to be. Only boomers and farts still play this. Old farts play this MMO genre. It's just that you have quick fixes now, quick games, ARPGs, season come after season go, and you know, just keep playing these games that are giving you these dopamine drops so quickly. MMOs are just losing. And if you could say that the one thing that MMOs had going for it was the social aspect, well, that's not even there anymore. If you open a oh, world to chat in any MMO that you play right now, it's just party finders looking for somebody or are gold sellers. It's just, it's the social aspect of MMOs are, it's, it's not even there anymore. Like the one thing that they had for going for them is gone. MMOs are just not it. With that being said though, I do put this at a nine. 
and I'll tell you why I like it and why I dislike it. Right now, my biggest gripe with Black Desert Online is that that, that does not change, grow, and adapt dies. And Black Desert, I don't want to say it, these are like really um, shaky words here, but I mean, it's dying. They're not getting anything innovative, nothing fresh. What are you gonna get a new, a new circle to grind in for a new earring, baby? You've been doing this for 10 years. Come on. They had a little good thing going with the raids, you know? They added like t three little dungeons and you know, maybe they, they got the community hype. But I mean, it stopped, it fizzled out. Boss rushes was a thing that came out and people jumped back into the game for Land of the Morning Light, but that got trivialized and done with within a week to a month of release. There is just isn't anything that is pushing B Black Desert Online to grow further. It's it's really in a stale place, but let's talk about the good things. I'm sorry, I know that I keep de deviating to the more negative sides, but um, Black Desert's combat is unmatched, unrivaled by any other game. You can sit there and you can say that um, World of Warcraft has good combat, blah, 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 blah. But truth be told, Black Desert Online's combat is on is unmatched. Throne of Liberty, LOL. It won't even hold up to how good Black Desert's combat is. It's really good, and it's why people still la um, log in daily to play Black Desert, is that it feels good, the combat feels good, and it feels good when you're grinding for 5 hours, 7 hours, um, 20 hours of the game. It just feels good and learning every different unique class feels good every class feels very different from the next one except maybe the mages and maybe kuno and ninja but aside from that every other class feels very very unique it has a purpose in the game i played every aspect of the game pvp pve life skilling i was at the um, siege guilds i was doing pvp for like 12 hours straight with open world pvp guilds rbf 1v1 small group ganking people stream sniping people getting stream sniped i've done it all everything pvp related pve related I think this is one of the best games I have ever played. I spent a lot of hours, and maybe you can think of it as biased, but it is what it is. If a game could keep me hooked in for that long, I think um, I think it's a good game. And it does life skilling really good. I played a lot of life skilling in Final Fantasy XIV, Final Fantasy XI, and other MMOs, Lost Ark. I have quite a resume when it comes to MMOs. I played a lot of them. In fact, I'm probably going to play Guild Wars 2 very soon, so I can give you guys also a review on that game. But I played a lot of MMOs. Like, a lot. I promise. I am younger than 69, okay? I promise. Yeah, so life skilling does well. Solid A++ on life skilling. Um, obviously, there are things that the game can improve there. Um, PvP, I think the game does a really good job at. Sadly, when the game was a little bit more PvP focused, it is not anymore. The development team seems like to have slowed down on PvP content, which I think it's, I think it's overall more healthy for the game in general, in a ways. Um, because the way it was back then, it definitely just stopped. Uh, like right now, if you talk to a new player or somebody who is interested in Black Desert Online, they will tell you, I'm scared to get ganked in an open world PvP. Because this is, was Black Desert. This was the experience. This was the experience. The experience was that you load in with your level 10, with your level 20, 40, and you leave the safe zone and you get killed. And you can't do anything. And then you decide to change the channel, which a lot of people coming into the game probably don't know that. And then you get ganked again. And then you go grind and you get ganked again. And then you get die and die. And this is the experience that a lot of new players coming into the game have had. It's it's not there really anymore. So the complaints of new players, but the impression stays though, right? Everybody reads, this is an open world PVP and that expression um, impression just stays with people that don't want to give it another shot. Same thing with the bad taste of the whole pay to win, the microtransaction hell that the game experienced very early on. People just don't want to even try it again because it's just initial impressions are very important to a lot of people. Uh, PvP is dying in Black Desert, and um, I don't necessarily think that that is a bad idea, uh, a bad thing, but I think that the team is having a hard time balancing PvP and PvE. You can see their struggles by eliminating um, um, uh, uh, GVGs by having one-sided decks. They don't know how to um, uh, approach this problem with like a private uh, grinding sessions now, and this and that is slowly killing off PvP. The PvP players are uh, um, mad, and oh my god the game doesn't care about me anymore and they don't care about the hardcore players because they're destroying pvp blah 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 blah. i don't know there's a lot of mess in a conversation here but solid 
PvP game in general. Though it's done dwindled a little bit and it's a little less exciting nowadays than its former glory of PvP days, I still rate PvP and BDO amongst the better PvP out there. I think for PvP, I'll give this game a solid A++. It's really good for PvP. And if you are a PvP junkie, um, maybe there's still something to get out of this game. For right now, um, it's it's dying and it's it's dying pretty quickly. Hopefully, maybe they find a way to balance both out, keep the casuals, the noobs, the people that don't want to experience PvP um, happy and the PvPers happy. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I already did that. I already experienced PvP. I don't care about PvP. I just want more people to enjoy the funner aspects of the game um, or, or the whole game without getting pushed away from the game because they're forced into PvP. Um, so we need to find a solution there. Um, the, I mean, do I need to talk about the graphics? This game shits on every MMO out there, even the ones that are coming. Black Desert Online graphically still stands toe to toe with the up and coming MMOs right now, which is crazy. This game has been out for 10 years. Yes, they had a remastered version of their graphics, you know, better optimization here and there, but the, the game still looks very, very, very impressive for how long it's been out there. Um, it's, it's really nice. Uh, I would like for there to be another revision of graphics and maybe we can rebrand again and have like Crimson Desert, uh, uh, Crimson Desert's better version of their Pearl Abyss engine ported over to Black Desert. That would be nice to see. Maybe a tailored version for Black Desert using the Crimson Desert engine. That would be nice. Maybe like a, like, um, uh, you know, sprucing up or give life to BDO. That would be nice to see. Um, let's see. So graphically, it has that S, S visuals. Audio effect, one of the most underrated, um, uh, things about Black Desert. Black Desert has some of the best music for any MMO. It's sad that it's underrated, but um, yeah, I think for music and sound design, I think it's an A. I think it's done really good. Um, what can I say? What else can I say about the game? There's nothing but good things, nothing but W's for Black Desert. My most, here comes some of my negative um, impressions about, about Black Desert. Uh, a reason why I think it is declining in um, player base and uh, it's really stale right now and the game is not doing any favors. The game is just dying because it doesn't adapt, it doesn't change, and it doesn't grow enough. It is the same wheel that everybody, it's just the same wheel in a different setting. I mean, what are you doing? You're grinding distos and star end, but now you're do, you're grinding marks and land of the dead. It's it's the same thing. Which arguably it is it is BDO's content. It is what it's known for. But I think they could they could use a little bit of creativity, a little bit more. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like maybe the. I don't know. I, I don't want to speculate more. I'll just leave it there. I think the game has become really stale at this point. The game is stale. And I think that is an issue with Black Desert Online. I think it's just stale in its content. There's no additional content. There's nothing. There's nothing to do if you've already devoured PvP. If you've already devoured a PvE. It's the same rehash stuff of what you've already done in BDO for 10 years. Which is not a problem. Which is why people still log in to do that. But you're definitely not going to get new players to come in and interested in that sort of stuff. There's nothing. There's not going to get the returning players to come back either because there's nothing new. There's nothing really good there. What do you do? Just chase another new earring that they add and a new location? I don't know. I'm looking forward to the future of the game though since they did say uh, in 2025 that there's this like house of demons with the tower with the castle that you're grinding and these other areas let's hope that they actually follow through because black desert has promised a lot of stuff in the past that have not gone through black desert has promised a lot pearl abyss has promised a lot of things in the past that they just never follow through with it so let's hope that they actually follow through with this one. And it might be because they're working on a lot of different games. I, for one, am excited to play Crimson Desert, which will be shown off at Gamescom pretty soon. And I'm excited to play Doki V. 
Doki V is one of the best, most anticipated games for me. I can't wait to play that game. But as far as right now is concerned, I give Black Desert an 8.5 out of 10. Out of a dying genre, this is still a must play game. A must play MMO if you're interested in a cozy life and an MMO that is different from all the other MMOs. An 8.5 for an, a dying genre, in my opinion, is a very good thing. It's a must experience. You don't have this like theme park MMOs that are copy clones of World of Warcraft. You don't have these other MMOs that are just doing this, doing that, which I do wish that a BDO adapted some of the other MMO stuff, but I'm really happy that this game does a different things as well. So yeah, that has been my review. If you liked the video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and cut. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>